everyone! Sorry it's been a little bit of a while. And hello to my new subscribers. Thanks for following me and following my journey on the bass guitar. As some of you may know, I actually have several basses. One of them is my trusty Sterling bass guitar. So this bass guitar I play most often. I've owned it for maybe seven years now and not too long ago I won the Flea Jazz Bass Contest and I got this guy. This guy over here. This one's a beautiful Flea signature active jazz bass and you can even see Flea's kind of signature at the back of it. And I've played this a couple of times live as well as in my videos. So today I wanted to do a quick comparison of these two bases and on top of that recently a Taiwanese distributor for um, pedals and all things guitar and bass accessory kind of related reached out to me and hooked me up with some really really awesome bass pedals. So today I'll be testing out three pedals. The Melvin Lee Davis Bass Preamp and DI, the Masamoon Booster and Compressor and also the CompCore Deluxe Compressor. So I've got to be honest, I've never actually played with pedals before, so uh, I don't really know what I'm doing in this video. I'm just kind of like noodling around with them. So feel free to let me know if you think I could have done things differently or done things better. I'm really open to constructive criticism. And thanks again to Monk Custom Enterprises for hooking me up with all these cool gadgets. I don't think I'll have that many opportunities to use all of these three pedals all the time. So if you guys are interested in a giveaway, or interested in um, trying out these pedals for yourself, um, let me know in the comment section below. Perhaps when I reach 100,000 subscribers, um, I'll try and figure out some way to say thank you to you guys and um, give one of these bad boys out there. So without further ado, let's get started. So we're going to start off with the CompCore Deluxe pedal from Nooks. It's a compression pedal. Um, it's pretty easy to use, pretty nifty and pretty simple. You have four knobs over here. So you have the sustain one, the level one, the blend one and the attack one. And when it's on, this red light turns on. There's also a toggle switch here so you can have different tastes and quality of sounds. Um, there's the input over here and the output. And then finally, the switch that turns it on. So we'll be reviewing this pedal and trying it out with my two bases and the theme for this review video is going to be a uh, red hot chili pepper song. So all of the songs that I'll be playing will be red hot chili peppers because I'm, I'm, a, I'm a big fan. So without further ado, let's get started. <laughs> Thank you. 
Vanessa Moon booster and compressor pedal, also by Nooks. Um, what's a little bit different about this pedal is that even though it has fewer, I guess, settings to play around with, you do have the option of um, boosting your signal or compressing it. So I guess in that sense, it makes it a little bit more versatile depending on kind of what you're using it for. Um, so then we have the drive knob, the blend knob, the sustain knob, and then the two switches that turn off either the boost or the compressor. You can also have two toggle switches, which give you also different sound qualities, like more twangy sound over here, and one that fixes, um, I guess, or plays around with the flat or high cut frequencies. Um, so I guess you could use the boost knob if you wanted suddenly a louder signal or a louder sound coming out from your bass. Maybe perhaps it's like your time to solo, haha, bass solos. Um, otherwise, you would be probably using uh, the compressor um, function in order to, I guess, have a more even sound. But anyways, let's give it a try. So finally, we have the Melvin Lee Davis Bass Preamp and DI. So this is the last pedal that I'll be reviewing and trying out with my two basses. So this pedal conveniently also acts as an audio interface. Um, from what I understand, it's generally used as a way to kind of fine tune your EQ. So that's why there is the presence of the bass knob, the middle knob, the frequency knob, as well as the treble knob. You can also um, decide to use overdrive, um, which is activated by this button at the bottom left and there's also a volume knob and a blend knob which adjusts the overdrive signal mix with the dry signal. Uh, finally there are other two toggle switches, the DI and the out toggle switch at the top here. And this is along the side of the pedal where you put your input, your output, and other toggle switches that are apparently here to help you uh, adjust the noise level. Um, yeah. So what's cool about this pedal is that it's specifically made for bass guitar, so that makes it a little bit different from the other two compressors that we reviewed earlier on. So without further ado, let's try it out!
tuning in and thanks for watching my video um, let me know what you thought do you like the sound of this guy more or do you like the sound of this bad boy more let me know in the comment section below also let me know what you thought of the pedals could I have used them more effectively what was I doing wrong and as I said in the beginning of this video if you guys are interested in getting your hands on one of these pedals and you guys are interested in a giveaway of some sort, don't forget to let me know, like this video, subscribe, blah, 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 blah. you know the gist. And um, yeah, I'll, I'll make it happen. All right, see you in the next video. Bye guys.